Hello and welcome to this special showcase video and today I'm going to show you my very first Primaris Ultramarines Redemptor Dreadnought. It's finally completed. So I've already done a magnetizing video uh, as to how to magnetize and what the magnets are and that kind of thing. So if you haven't watched that video do check that out. That will be on my channel JB Wargamer 87 which is the channel you're currently on. So and furthermore there will be a special painting tutorial on my brother's plus channel. So I've done a first exclusive in-depth painting tutorial on how I painted this incredible model. And it has been a real challenge, but I've got it done and it's ready for war. And as you can see, all the weapons options are fully magnetized and interchangeable as well. So, Without further ado, let's take a look at this model. So I've obviously I've done it in the color scheme of the Ultramarines, and knowing me, I've done it in a narrative uh, point of view when it comes to accuracy, because I do love the narrative. You can see all the details there. So you've got the Omnisire symbol back there. And then uh, I've actually got to repair that, which I'll do later on, that's not a problem at all, it's just simply a bit of yellow, but that's fine. And yeah, done some chipping effects, I've done, I've, I've pushed myself to the limit a bit more with this. Uh, I've applied new effects and new ways of painting, but still kept it so that you can actually see it uh, in its original way that I do my ultramarine. So if you, if you check out the Plus channel, I'll show you how to paint all the vehicles and everything like that. So this is the standardized way of doing my vehicles. So I've even done the bottom as well, but I haven't done this section here and the top there because there's no point, but it's just a shadow to cover over the top of that. But uh, that's fine. And you've got all the wiring and cabling in there. It's all finished. I've done the names as well. So this dreadnought is called Valius. So Dreadnought, Primaris, Dreadnought, Valius. So it's interesting narrative about the uh, Dreadnoughts now. They've uh, no longer is it just a Sargothicus or of a dead or wounded Space Marine. A regular uh, Primaris Space Marine can take control without being wounded or anything like that. So they have, they're more tactically adaptable now. So, uh, but they still use wounded Space Marines inside a Dreadnought. It's great honour and courage to be in one of these. So that's the main body there. And then you've got the heavy plasma incinerator. As you can see there. I love this weapon. It looks so good. I've done the plasma rays as well. I'll show you how to do that on the plus channel as well. And then we've got the heavy onslaught Gatling cannon as well. There's all the details there. All done. And then of course we've got the Fragstorm grenade launchers, the tiny. They're all magnetized of course. They're there. And of course the twin uh, storm bolters to here. And then of course we've got the uh, regular onslaught Gatling cannon. Which is this. And yes, we have a heavy flamer as well. Now, with the flamers now, I, I actually quite like the copper effect, so I'm gonna be painting my flamers in this copper effect from now on, and I think it's more narrative as well. So eventually, when I get the time, I'll redo the fronts of the flamers in copper. So, now, the Dreadnought wouldn't be a Dreadnought without its weapons being magnetised. So I'm going to magnetise uh, the first option. So I'm going to put the plasma incinerator, heavy plasma incinerator, into there. There is a magnet inside which connects to there. And then we're going to put the Fragstorm grenade launchers into here. That should go in there. That's it, that goes in there, and then it goes in here. 
and then I'm going to put the let's put the onslaught. In. There you go, simple as that, all magnetized into there. You can see. What a beast. What a beast. So the plus channel uh, will be live by the time this video is released. So you can check out how I painted this and all the plasma effects, all the chipping, everything like that, all the wires and things like that and if there's any questions you want to ask or anything like that, just leave a comment below. I'm more than happy to respond to your comments. There you go. So that's that there. Now I'm going to interchange the heavy plasma incinerator. I'll obviously you have to be very careful when taking this out. It's a little bit stiff because of the varnish, but over time it will wear out a bit more. So that's not a problem. There, so we'll put the heavy flamer underneath here. Put that there. So, so whenever I paint, whenever I paint a model, I do a showcase. That's the new rule now on my channel. That should come out. That's it. Just double check, no, it's fine, it's okay. Just have to be careful when doing this. It's obviously not a toy, it's uh, spent a lot of hours getting this model together, all painted. Let's put this weapon on. This is a little bit easier to put on as well. I try not to take the arms off because there's really no point, but there you go. I mean, look at that, I love that weapon. I mean, all the weapons options are really cool. Really, really cool. So there you go. I mean, I love the coil wires as well with the yellow and black uh, uh, checkered wire, which is cool. I've done the lights as well, little light, different on that, and the smoke, and the soot effects I do. Little checkered, you'll know how to do that. I've been doing on the plus channel so there you go so that there is the redemptor dreadnought and what beast what a beast uh, will I get more oh, yeah oh yes definitely uh, I just love the model is it? I mean the pose I was quite worried about the pose it didn't really stick uh, uh, too well but with the help of super glue and some activator is actually stuck on really well. So I basically put a bit of super glue underneath the feet so it, it shouldn't move as well. So uh, it's good, it's supported with plastic glue as well. So that's nice. So there you go. That there is the Redemptor Dreadnought and uh, really can't wait to use it in games. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the thing, it, well, currently it's uh, we're coming up to ninth edition, and 14 wounds model, and strength 14, AP minus three, D6 damage. Yeah, it's uh, it's really good. I really really like it. So there you go. So that's that. Sh this is the showcase for my very first Redemptor Dreadnought, Redemptor Dreadnought Valius number. Seven, so number seven. So it's all basically I copied it from the Games Workshop website, and and but the painting tutorial is is a, it's a different way of doing uh, the uh, painting and that kind of thing. So I have my own scheme of uh, doing things. So when it comes to modelling, so there you go. And uh, I'm going to repair. Don't worry, I will repair that. It won't take too long. So I'm just going to blend it with these colours. So it's as simple as that. So there you go. Thank you for watching, and of course, i got to say, the Ultramarines chant. Courage and honour. We march for McCrack, and we shall know no fear. Happy Wargaming. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, 
and to also share this video with your friends. And an honourable mention to my Patreon supporters. Without their support, these videos would not be possible. Keep an eye out for the next episode, because you don't want to miss what's next. And I will see you next time. Happy Wargaming.